Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to the channel. My name is Atiku Rama and I'm an AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. Today I'm going to show you how you can install an SSL certificate in Amazon Linux 2023. So let's get started. I am into my EC2 dashboard. So I'm going to create a new EC2 instance here. So I'm going to click launch instance. And then I'm going to uh, go to uh, choose the AMI. So here, uh, the default image is Amazon Linux 2023. So this is not Amazon Linux 2. Amazon Linux 2 is based on CentOS 7, but uh, Amazon Linux 2023 is based on Red uh, Fedora. So there's a, there is a variation. So that means the command that you use to run in Amazon Linux 2 will not work on Amazon Linux 2023. So that's the purpose of this video. So I'm going to give it a name, web server. T2 micro. Uh, I'm just going to choose a key here. I'm going to choose create a new security group with HTTP and HTTPS. Storage is uh, GP3. This is a new one. Previously, we had GP2, but now it's GP3 and 8 gigs of text space. And in the advanced, we will uh, see there's an IAM instance profile. I'm going to choose the ACP mode. This is I created previously. That means um, if you haven't created this, then you don't see this option. What you have to do is it, you need to go to the IAM and create a new role for EC2 that has access to uh ssm or systems manager okay after doing that i'm going to review everything termination protection i think it's better to turn on because this helps you to prevent accidental deletion so for example you just by mistake click the delete button this will prevent you to delete that you have to manually uncheck it and then you can only delete that's really helpful. That saves a lot of like mistakes on deleting because once you delete it, then it's not going to revert it back. That, that it saves you a lot of time. Anyway, there is a tip and anything we, any, any other things you just keep as it is. There is no need to change it. Okay. Um, You can use user data, but I'm not going to use that now. I'm just going to run it in my terminal. So let's go to the instance. And then... By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button. That helps me to create more videos like this. So it is free and it doesn't make like more than one or five seconds to just click the subscribe button. Okay, so uh, one another pro tip is use an elastic IP. So rather than a random IP, you, you choose an elastic IP. Click allocate. Click here. Allocate this elastic IP and in just the instance. Let's go. So what happens is that you have set up everything. You have pointed the DNS, but then and uh, without elastic IP, this IP address is random. That means if you shut it down and shut turn it on, then you will get a new IP, which is not good because you have pointed all your DNS, all your uh, APIs, everything to this IP. So that's why I always give tips to use uh, elastic IP rather than normal IP, and that will help you to get started. Now let's click on the connect button and I'm going to connect to that uh, instance. I have a blog, a blog article. So that will be given in the video description. You can just copy paste the comments. There is literally nothing exceptional. You just copy and work. So you see that there's a difference. Previously we used yum, but now it's DNF because it's Fedora. That's the thing that you need to remember. First we go to root. That's not in the uh, blog, but that's something extra. Google only. 
do this once. Okay, so we'll DNF everything as well. That's okay. Then we're going to install uh, Apache and uh, Mod SSL. Because for like any SSL certificate, you need to have a web server. Either it's Nginx or Apache. I'm going to use Apache. So. Paste it here. Simple. Run it. Yes. I'm going to install it. That's good. Here, the screen. Now, what's next? Uh, we start the HTTP and enable HTTP. What this does, it's enabling the HTTP server. That means by default, it's turned off. So we just install it, but it's not turning, running on. So we'll uh, run it now. And then we are going to enable HTTP. That means when we reboot the system, the H Apache server will automatically restart. This is the just only thing. This is important because if you, for some reason, your install instance is not running and you have to reboot, then it will not automatically start. We need to run this command manually. But if you run this, enable HTTPD, then you don't have to manually start the HTTPD. It's automatically restarted. Now, let's verify because we now want to show that everything is working fine, right? That's what we want. Let's see. So HTTP service, the Apache HTTP server, that's good. Uh, enable, this is disabled, okay, active running, blah, blah, blah. So it's enable and running. Okay, the, these are the two things that is important. Then obtain the SSL certificate. So it is, remember, it is Amazon Linux 2020. A lot of guys are commenting in my video that this is not working. The examples that I created in the SSL certificate, it's not working. Guys, please remember that this is a new uh, Linux. This is not the CentOS version. So any code that I have given to you, which was supposed to run on Amazon Linux 2, it not will, going to run it here. So you are thinking that you are using Amazon Linux too, but no, by default now it is Amazon Linux 2023 selected. So you have to either choose Amazon Linux 2, the option is available, Amazon Linux 2 is still there, but that is not the default. The default is Amazon Linux 2023. And that's why all the existing commands like I created previously, you think it's not working, but that's not correct. It is not working because it's a new operating system it's a new os think of it like windows and mac it's something like this it's completely different operating system and that's why the command that i gave previously it's not working here but if you choose the instance when uh, like if you choose the image amazon linux 2 it will work anyway so in fedora what we can do is we can use python 3 to install the cert bot and then uh, run those uh, things over there. So I'm just going to copy this command and it's all this pretty basic. Just copy paste it, nothing else. I just did it many times, so it should work. What? Okay, let's run one by one. It's something is changed or not. I don't know. Clear the screen. Maybe too many too many commands at a time. So let's run one by one. Okay, so we are creating a virtual environment. Right? That's good. And then we are going to uh, upgrade the feed. That's what we want. PP is already empty. That's good. Now, what we are going to use do is install Sartbot using PIP. So, paste it here, run it. I think this this might be causing some issues. Let's have a demonstration for you. What's the problem? Let's see.
<clears throat> okay. And uh, there are some hiccups, and I ultimately found it. So I had to run this command sudo dnf install with Python 3 August pips. And uh, if you run it, then uh, you will be able to avoid that error. So I run it in my terminal. <clears throat> That's already done. And then after that, you can run this command. So which is this line. This line was causing the issue, and uh, previously it was not showing issue, so that's why I just use it. But now it had to be installed, so it's updated in the blog. You will definitely see that now. It's okay. So what we can do is we can actually uh, create this start bot command. So that's pasted here. Okay, it's already been created. Now let's clear the screen and then because I already created once. And then I'm going to before it run it, I need to create a virtual host. So what I do here is um, virtual host example. Okay. It actually gives me the first link in the uh, Google search. And you will see that there are a lot of examples given, but the filtering was. <clears throat> so, this is the pretty simple one. I can just copy this. Once this is copied, I can open Atom. So, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to link with the subdomain. So my subdomain is SSL test dot So this is the server name. There is no alias. I'm just going to dash it. Document root, I think I'm just going to take it. HTML or AWS is fine. I just going to create a new folder here. So, um, server admin, it's okay. All good. So, let's read the profit. And then I'm just going to create sudo. VI, you can see it's pretty on the D. Okay. Paste. Save it. Good. Now uh, I need to point my subdomain into this. So let's copy the IP address. Where is this? Okay, go here. This is the IP address. And then I go to my uh, Cloudflare account where I manage all my domains. So just create a record here. SSL test. Save it. Now, um, this is the command. The command is sudo chatbot apache. So, clear the screen running sudo chatbot apache. Oh, sorry, I just have to make a typo. Give me the email address like uh, info at example.com. Yes. Oh, I have to give a real email address. Okay. So MD at Strange. Okay. 
I choose to create the SSL certificate. Certificate has been created. Now let's clear the screen. Go to that folder that www. Then to create a folder mkg AWS. Go to AWS and then vi uh, index.html. So I'm going to put an HTML file. Title This is a big head. Okay, and body. H one. So, hello world. Body and tag. So, body and tag. HTML and tag. Oh, that's good. UI yeah, is not bad actually. So, now let's go to the website SSL test.xyz and here it is hello world so if you see the certificate uh, connection is secure certificate is valid and it's issued on September 14 which is today so that's perfect so that being said uh, this is what I wanted to show you how you can install an SSL certificate with Apache in Amazon Linux 2023 the blog article will be linked into the video description. You can just copy paste those comments. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe if you like this video and share it with your friends. Have a nice day. Allah is by there. Assalamu alaikum.